Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Amy, your independent Sensi consultant with Happily Scented Homes. And I'm back today to share with you guys another uh, video for Thursday office testers. So it's been two weeks since the last one. Um, I don't have as many as before, but we do have five fragrances here to talk about that I had a chance to warm over the past two weeks. And if you are newer to my channel, and have not seen one of these uh, videos yet from this series. Basically, I am a Scentsy consultant and I have a boatload of these little party testers that we as consultants get in our transition kits every time there is a catalog changeover and that happens twice a year. So you can assume that these little suckers do accumulate. Um, and I figured because I have so many and so many duplicates that I would take the opportunity to revisit these scents. And because my office on campus is a very small space and it's kind of almost like a virgin space when it comes to fragrance, I figured it would be the best um, place to warm a lot of these scents and really give another review and another visit. So with that being said, let's get into it and do apologize for the appearance I'm still in my work clothes it's like 8 30 at night I'm drinking coffee because I just have a lot of stuff I gotta get done but I figured I might as well just get this video done and over with so one of the scents that I was able to warm in my office is a scent that I have revisited numerous times when it was available um, so the scent we're going to be talking about is Blue Sage and Tonka. Um, Blue Sage and Tonka was a new release. I do believe the fall and winter catalog of 2021, I believe. Yeah, February of 2021. And I absolutely love this scent on first appeal, like first sniff. Love this scent. It's got Midnight Sage, Black Lavender, and Tonka Beam. It's like flirts between masculine and feminine you do get like the floral sweet floral of the lavender the sage brings like an herbalness to the bar and then the tonka bean kind of brings that cologne like and woody type aspect to it love it on cold i have not been able to get this wax to perform in my house i have tried it in small spaces like my bathrooms I've tried it in bedrooms i've tried it in my living room here I literally cannot get the thing to work. So I just gave up on it and just said, okay, it's just not a scent that's gonna work for me. But I figured I had a tester left because um, yeah, I had a tester left of it. So I'm like, let's just give it a chance in my office and see if this is gonna perform in my office the way I wanted it to perform in my house. Unfortunately, I'm sad to report here that this did not even scent my office either. I don't know what it is about Blue Sage and Tonka. I know a lot of other people have had great performance with this scent. For me, it's a complete dud. I put this in the warmer and I have a mod taupe warmer, element warmer in my office. Put it in there, couldn't smell anything. Hour one, hour two, hour three, went to lunch, came back, hour six. It was almost the end of my shift and I could still not smell anything. And I like had been in and out of the office all day, like going to the restroom, going down for meetings, meeting with faculty. Like I was in and out of the, the office, so it wasn't like I was being nose blind to the scent at all, but it just didn't work. So unfortunately, this seals the deal for Blue Sage and Tonka for me. I will not repurchase this. It does not. The only time I would repurchase this if the room spray that was oil-based, so our old room spray formula, if this scent ever pops up in clearance in that particular product and it's cheap enough, like I'm saying $4 or under for that room spray, that I may consider picking it up just so I could like spritz and like enjoy because I do like the scent of it. Now with that in mind, in the upcoming mental health awareness collection, um, there is going to be a scent in that collection called Blue Lavender and Bergamot. 
I am the most intrigued by that particular set and I'm hoping that it's somewhat similar to Blue Sage and Tonka and I'll get better performance with that particular bar than Blue Sage and Tonka. So I have fingers crossed, high hopes for that one, but for Blue Sage and Tonka, complete dud, do not repurchase. Okay, what was amazing was sea salt and avocado. Sea salt and avocado, it's no longer available in our catalog, but you can get it in Scentsy Club. Um, they do offer it for Scentsy Club subscribers as a brick, um, so you can purchase it that way. And I do have um, a brick of it, and I've had a couple bars that I got from like flash sales and stuff. So I did go ahead and warm this in my office. It's got Valencia orange, uh, pink Himalaya salt, creamy avocado. It's delightful. It is my favorite greenery bar by Scentsy. It performed for two days in my office. I usually only get a day performance out of this, typically like if I warm it in a larger space like my living room or my kitchen, but where my office is small, it's understandable why it lasted two days. So appreciated that. So I did thoroughly enjoy sea salt and avocado and would happily rewarm that again. Um, coconut for coconuts. Um, this was, this is actually in our catalog currently, and it was a new scent to not last spring and summer's catalog, but the previous one. Yeah, was it? Or was it the last one? I don't know. It was a new release in the past two years. Let's just put it that way. So I remember when this came out and I got my early access kit to it, I really didn't get much performance. It performed very light for me and very subtle and it wasn't a strong coconut. So I didn't repurchase it. I think I maybe have gotten it like in a fragrance flower, maybe. Maybe I'm thinking about it wrong. It was either, yeah, I, I think I tried it in a different product and got a better performance than I did the wax. Let me tell you guys, I put this in my warmer at the office. Actually, today I did this scent. Phenomenal. I really got a very nice suntan coconut. Not a fresh coconut, not a tropical coconut. It was a suntan coconut. And it was very like creamy and woody and very much like a body care coconut. I don't know if it's because this particular tester is old. I mean, you can see that it still has like wax residue there. And it this was a white wax originally, and then it turned yellow. So it, it's been sitting for a while. So I don't know if that kind of played into the strength of the fragrance, if letting it sit, it did cure better and become stronger over time, or did I just warm a dud <laughs> in the beginning and I should have just, you know, got another bar and revisited it. But I would have to say that coconut for coconuts, I would repurchase this again. I have worn this with cocoa lime and I've gotten really good performance out of that. But I, but again, I don't know if that's because of the cocoa lime being a strong performer, but I would happily warm this again. But I do think for me personally, it is one that I'm gonna have to let sit for a little bit and then enjoy because that fresh pour, I really didn't get great experience with it. But this tester that's been sitting for over a year or so, great performance. So definitely one I would recommend to you guys. Um, one that's also in our catalog is Mahalo Coconut. Um, Mahalo Coconut. I've always loved Mahalo Coconut. I do prefer Mahalo Coconut in Scentsy Pods, and I have said that a lot of times on my channel. It is amazing in pod form. Last weeks in pods. The wax wasn't bad. I did get a decent performance out of this small little tester, but again, this one's been sitting for a while. It's juicy. The tester's cracked. I mean, this this has had a rough life but mahalo coconut is really really nice um let me pull up the scent description real quick because this one isn't one that i always like have in my repertoire so i don't know the scent notes like by memory let's see if i can find it right here it is hawaiian lei violet and pineapple so 
very very weird that there's not a coconut note listed in the scent description because i do smell like fresh coconut like a fresh cracked open coconut and i don't get much pineapple like i don't get pineapple with this i get just fresh coconut and it's like woody and a little bit floral but more fresh I would happily, happily recommend this. Lasted like my entire shift. Um, it didn't go for like two days. So, I mean, what are you gonna do? They, it, they all can't be winners. Now, one that wasn't a winner was Iridescent Pearl. Iridescent Pearl, um, it used to be in the spring and summer catalog, I think two years ago, two catalogs ago anyway and then they retired it. I love Iridescent Pearl. Love it in pods. I love it in um, wax. I've had it in um, scent circles in my car. It's an amazing fragrance. It's Juicy Mango, Apple Blossom, and Water Lotus, and that's the Water Lotus that's in here that just brings it to like a tropical vibe. Oh, it's so fresh. It is so fresh. The apple blossom, it's really not like apple. It's more of like a blossom floral note. And the mango, it's it says juicy mango in the scent description, but I don't get juicy mango. I get more of like a fresh, like not like an underripe mango. But the water lotus, oh my gosh, the aquatic notes in here, it just gives it like a spa. You just want to like have body care, lotion, rub it all over you. Oh, I love iridescent pearl and this one lasted two whole days in my office which is normal for the wax I usually do get a two-day performance out of it and then with the pod form I always get like weeks on end with the pod so love 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 it awesome but that's what I warmed past two weeks in my office hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys have you know I lost my train of thought. If you guys have tried these fragrances before, what's been your experience with them? And have you worn them in larger spaces or smaller spaces? Have you tried the product, the scents and any other scentsy products? You know, cause sometimes for me, a particular fragrance might work better in another product that's non-wax than the wax. So I don't know. Just wondering if other people are having that same issue. But thanks for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.